instantly recognizable here in Northeast Ohio and around the world. Rocco Scotty, who sang the national anthem for decades at Indians games, turned 95 years young today. Tonight, we look back at his amazing legacy. Rocco Scotti grew up in Cleveland's Little Italy and studied opera in New York. His trademark high note led to a long singing career. Scotty recalls the day that changed his life forever. So in the car, I took the high note at the end I have on it now, and then put more power on the whole thing, and felt real good. So I went down to the stadium, and that's the way I sang it. And the place went crazy. Both sides of the stadium came running out. The ball players, who the hell are you? Where'd you come from saying like that? Man, we never heard the anthem like that. He would go on to sing the national anthem for decades in Cleveland Indians games and events around the country, meeting celebrities along the way. Tom Hanks wrote me a letter from, from where he was in Hollywood. Rock, I'm going to do a show in Cleveland in two weeks. I want you to be with me. Will you, be, will you please do a show with me? And he gained great fame himself even being named the Star-Spangled Banner Singer of the Millennium by Congress. And in May, he was inducted into the Ohio Senior Citizens Hall of Fame. <laughs> Scotty is less thrilled with some versions of the anthem being performed today. If you can't take it, don't sing the damn thing, you know. He hopes his legacy to sing it with power, with, with respect, and with, and with love and lives on. Nothing in my life enjoyed me more, really, except being married to my wife, you know. <laughs> that was better. And on this, his 95th birthday, he still has it. For the land of the free and the home of the So, what is Rocco's secret? Well, doctors say his singing is keeping him young. Happy birthday.